Hey crafty cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica. Today we are gonna go into Joann's. I'm doing a little bit of shopping. I just got done kind of organizing my craft room and there's a few things that I would like to um, re-add to my collection. Some 12 by 12 paper pads would be really good. So yeah, it's been a few weeks probably since I've been into Joann's. I'm hoping they have some of their spring stuff out. So let's just go see what they have and you can be on the lookout for some other shopping videos. Um, I'm hoping to go to Craft Warehouse, Michaels and Dollar Tree today. So if there's anything good at those stores, I will also film um, additional shopping videos so you can see what they have. Let's go. Okay, they definitely have spring stuff out in like the home decor items. We might look at that in a little bit, but I'm more interested in paper crafting kinds of things. So I always like to check over here in Tim Holtz area. I'm surprised they still have some Christmas stuff and it's just regular price. That's kind of funny. There's another row of Tim Holtz, so we'll check that out. You know what? I can always use these labels. I'll probably get those. Use my 40% off. Also guys, I hate the planner I have. Um, it's an undated planner. So I wonder if I can just buy like the dated inserts. I'm not sure. I bet I can. It's a happy planner. I feel like you can usually buy all kinds of different inserts for it. I just hate that it's undated because it's not easy for me to plan ahead. Um, yeah, but I also don't really want to buy a new planner because I've already used that one quite a bit. Anyways, let's go check out the other row of Tim Holtz. If this was like on clearance, I would definitely maybe be interested, but I'm really surprised it's not. Okay, let's go over here. Let's hope there's something new. Hmm. Not really looking like it. <laughs> Well, maybe. I'll just take you along real quick and we can just check out. I do love these fabric tapes. Um, I've had this one for, for a while. It's actually lasted me a long time. Really fun to use. This one would be fun. see honestly I am I have gone through like almost all of my Tim Holtz ephemera I could use another pack of these tiny ones which are perfect for embellishments let me grab one I'm gonna see it doesn't even look like they're on sale but I will check and see if there's any coupons the collage papers I like those a lot but I don't need any right now. Just kind of go slow so you guys can see. These window frames would be really fun for maybe some garden journals with like florals on the front, like little fairy doors. That could be a fun series, especially for spring, huh? Hmm. That's tempting. That could be really, really fun and pretty you could do like windows on the cover and then have like some fairy doors and things like that i really love these pocket cards they are really really pretty okay but look i found i don't think that i've ever got this pack this is organic layers and if i'm thinking of some spring spring um journals with like fairies and florals a lot of birds in this one i don't usually love bird type themes but these do happen to be very pretty i kind of wish there was more florals in it honestly but that's a little tempting i think i might go ahead and i don't know this is kind of inspiring me i hate to just buy stuff but you know let's see 
They got the field notes. I know these are like repeats. Like I've bought these so many times, but I'm telling you, they're just such good staples to have. I go through them like crazy. I always use up like every last piece. Ooh, palette, I think. Oh anyway, yeah, I have bought this one before. Yes, and I love it. A lot of good pieces in this one. I would repurchase if all of these were on sale, but sorry, I'm trying to get that back, trying to put stuff back. Memoir. Those are good like vintage pieces. Okay. Okay, well, I'm really hoping to find some 12 by 12 paper pads. So I really wish Tim Holtz still had his 12 by 12s. But let's see if we can find a 12 by 12 paper pad that would be good for this like fairy floral theme. Okay, so there's also this Tim Holtz wall. I kind of forgot. A lot of this is like metals though. Oops. So I just wanted to make sure they didn't have one of the botanical floral packs that Tim Holtz usually has. I forget the name of it right now, but I'll probably end up getting it on Amazon because I think it would work better for what I have in mind. Okay, and then there's all the Tim Holtz inks and stuff. Actually, you know what? I could almost use a new ink, but I would like, oh yeah. The uh, refill. Oh wait, what's foundry wax? I've never heard of that. Anyways, I need my vintage photo ink. And since I go through it pretty quick, I was thinking of just getting the refill. But I never, never happened to see it. So, okay. Maybe also an Amazon thing. Okay, I'm going to go down the paper pad aisle now. So we can finally look for some paper. I think this is all... Oh, I guess art journaling, things like that. Okay, so then we get into the single papers, which I never really partake in. Not this aisle. Not this aisle. I know they have a paper pad aisle. Okay, I don't know how I almost missed it, but it is a smaller paper pad aisle for Joann's. There's another location that I live near that has um, so much paper. Okay, so let's just take a peek. Again, we're looking for floral, fairy kind of theme. I'm, I'm not seeing too many new paper pads, so I probably won't really flip through any unless I notice some new ones. I am going to go to Michael's after this, and I'm kind of hoping that they might have some. Okay, these are double-sided. I do like that. Let's see. Hmm. I'm thinking like whimsical, light colors, something like this, but a lot more of that. This has some good ones. Oh, I do really like this. But I don't want to buy a paper pad just because I like a few. But that's close to what I'm after. Just not quite there. And especially because I don't think these are on sale. Although I do like these big paper pads. This one's called Flower Garden. Um, 180 sheets. These are a little thinner, but I would think for um, junk journals, let me just make sure that's focused, that I really like these kinds of paper pads that they have. These are pretty too, but also a little bit too bold for what I have in mind. This would be a nice one to have on hand though, just for like kind of everyday use, I guess. Okay, but yeah, not, not quite. Bella and Bloom. I do really like that these are double-sided. Let's just look quickly though. These are 
Those are kind of pretty. But again, not, not exactly what I had in mind, so yeah, okay. I think I'm gonna have to hit up Michael's and hope for the best, so definitely be on the lookout for that. Okay, yeah, so we already looked at those. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. I'm gonna get my Tim Holtz stuff that I set down here. Sonoma. Ooh. Something like this in a 12 by 12 would be good. You know, they used to carry like Maggie Holmes and crepe paper. Um, I don't see it anymore, so let's just see what this is all about. Well, okay. Maybe not quite. Darn. Oof. Floral Wonders. Oh, okay. Let's see. Ooh, that's pretty. But again, not quite there. Just a little too bold. Dang it. But very cute. Am I just being extra picky? I don't know, man. Vintage chic. Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay, well. Well, guys, I think that's going to be it for this Joanne's trip. If I see anything else, I'll add it in. But be on the lookout for some more shopping videos. And I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to grab these things. Okay, bye.